This is how I really quickly do removal with like SOT 23 or resistors capacitors. I basically just put a lot of solder on it and you pull the part right up. Um, so this is a really quick technique for like, you know, SOT 23, 603, 805 resistors, capacitors, anything like that. Um, you just need some solder and solder work and tweezers. So to give you an idea, I'm going to pull off um, U15, the SOT 23 five part right here. And all you do is you basically try to get enough solder to melt all of the leads at once. Um, so to give you a little demo of this with a bit more detail, um, here I'll add solder to all the leads. So we'll make sure we get good flow. And then kind of you go back and forth, um, adding enough solder until you feel like everything's molten at once. At the same time, you want to get some tweezers in there to try to pull it straight up. So I'll show you some different examples where it doesn't. So here it kind of moved over. Oops, and then you pull it up. And you can see there's lots of solder left over, so it's kind of a messy technique. Um, a bit of cleanup with some solder work. We'll quickly deal with that and then clean any leftover flux with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. So there you go, real easy. So I had to do a few boards so we can see this again. Um, same part, SOT 23.5. So here's one where it goes off to the side a bit. So I, I load lots of solder on quick and I kind of push it with the soldering iron here so I don't have the tweezers in there pulling up and what you'll see is that it, it makes a little mark on C59 so so it's it's real easy to get solder elsewhere especially if it was a denser board this is a pretty sparse board so a bit of cleanup in this one's all fine um, but as a final demo so the demo like at the start of this video um, is we'll do with this other board and this one I pull straight up so here we take this um, same part, we add some solder, and then I'll get some tweezers in there and make sure it's going vertical. Um, and then we won't, we'll, so we'll get a lot of solder left over, but we won't have that solder stuck to a nearby part. So, you know, you gotta make sure it's kind of melting all the leads. So I've done this with even up to SOC 8 type devices. So. It, it, it's pretty versatile and it's really fast, especially like little 402 or 603 parts. So, so there you go. So that's a, a real quick way of removing parts without breaking out the hot air gun um, if you're doing rework or, or testing of boards or anything like that. So hope you found it helpful.